We will now mesh our fluid geometry. So let's double click on mesh. This will open up mechanical. What we should first notice here is that both the blade part that we created for the FEA and our fluid body have been imported into mechanical. In this analysis, we're modeling the fluid flow around the blade, and so we will only mesh the fluid geometry. So we should therefore suppress the blade part. We can do that by right-clicking on it and selecting Suppress Body. We should also make sure that our unit system is consistent. Um, so let's verify this here. So we can see that it's in metric, so this is good. So before creating our mesh, let's define some name selections on this geometry. This is an important step to do prior to going to Fluent, but it can also simplify the creation of our mesh. And you'll see why soon. Let's first define the inlets. With the face selection filter, choose this face, and then right click and select Create Name Selections. And then we can give it a name. We'll call it Inlet. Let's do the same thing with this face. And we're going to call it Inlet Top. And we'll now do the Outlet. And then these two faces, we'll call them periodic, periodic 1, and this one we'll call periodic 2. Doesn't matter which one is which. I'll explain how we use both these faces later into Fluent. Um, so, we also need to define the blade surface, and instead of trying to like select each face of this blade, um, there's an easier trick. So what we can do is we can right click and select all, and then using the control key, we can unselect these surfaces so that only the blade part is highlighted. And then we'll do the same thing. We're going to create a name selection. We're going to call it blade. It's also good practice to create a name selection for the whole body. So we're going to choose the body selection filter and click on our body and we're gonna call it fluid and just note that our name selections are located right here 